So this is really exciting. I think every Star Trek or Doctor Who fan will have heard of space-time, the very fabric of our universe. Well, gravitational ripples in the fabric of space-time, first predicted by Albert Einstein a hundred years ago, have now finally been detected by scientists who believe the discovery opens new vistas into the dark side of the universe. Hey, it's Mikey Chen. This kind of sounds like a love story of epic proportions. A long time ago, in a deep space far, far away, two massive black holes, 30 times as massive as the sun, located 1.3 billion light years from Earth, met and slowly drew together. They spiraled ever closer until about 1.3 billion years ago, they whirled about each other at half the speed of light and finally merged. This collision was so intense, it sent a shudder through the universe, basically ripples in the fabric of space and time called gravitational waves. And about five months ago, the waves finally washed over Earth. By looking for these ripples, researchers could soon detect strange stars, objects made of stuff completely different from the particles that make up ordinary matter. And all it took was 1,000 physicists and the gigantic laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory. Of course, Einstein predicted the existence of such ripples known officially as gravitational waves in 1916 as part of his general theory of relativity. General relativity reimagines the gravitational pull between heavy objects like Earth and the Sun as warping of space and time. When very heavy objects such as black holes are involved, the theory predicts that gravitational waves will emerge and ripple across the entire universe. That's the idea anyway, but in practice, seeing such gravitational waves waves has been nearly impossible, and until now, researchers had found only indirect evidence of their existence. That's because gravitational waves are tiny ripples in the fabric of space-time. Gravity is such a weak force that these ripples are so small and nearly impossible to detect. Basically, imagine space-time as a sheet on a mattress. Now, throw a couple bowling balls on there, and they swirl around, and of course, this would cause the sheet to ripple. This is how space-time moves when black holes merge. But it will take a massive event in the fabric of space-time for us to be able to detect them, events such as the collision of black holes, but nobody knew how often that might happen. Nevertheless, scientists built two laser interferometer gravity wave observatory which are massive detectors and located in Livingston, Louisiana and Hanford, Washington, separated by thousands of miles in order to detect ripples coming in from deep space as they pass through Earth. Each of the identical detectors is is shaped like the letter L with a laser beam running down the length, splitting at the bend. The detectors, when used together, can measure minute changes in space-time by clocking the distance between the two arms of the observatory. The detection of gravitational waves not only confirm Einstein's general theory of relativity, it amounts to the first direct detection of a pair of colliding black holes, the mysterious structures in space that are so dense they exert a gravitational force from which nothing, not even light, can escape. But being able to detect gravitational waves will help astronomers probe the dark universe. This is the name given to the large part of the cosmos that is invisible to the light telescopes. They will be able to look deeper into the universe, which means we could better understand its history. It's going to help researchers understand how fast the universe is expanding and what exactly makes stars explode. One senior British physicist described the breakthrough as the greatest scientific discovery so far this century because of its ramifications for our basic understanding of the universe and the possibility it creates for new ways to observe the hidden regions of space. The direct detection of gravitational waves will also enable astronomers to see the universe in a different light, giving them an unprecedented opportunity to observe the cosmos almost back to the beginning of time itself, helping to refine our understanding of our place in space. Professor Lawrence Krauss, arguably the world's best-known particle physicist in an email to the Huffington Post said the discovery of gravitational waves would be a huge milestone. It opens a new window on the universe, 
gravitational wave astronomy could be the astronomy of the 21st century. More than that, it may reveal important information on the nature of gravity, black holes, and fundamental physics. Professor Stephen Hawking said the detection marked a moment in scientific history. He told the BBC that gravitational waves provide a completely new way at looking at the universe. The ability to detect them has the potential to revolutionize astronomy. The discovery also marks a shift in the way researchers explore the universe. Scientist Zabox Marka, who worked on the observatories, said, imagine that you have all your senses, but you can't hear, and the first day you gain hearing, you get a new life. Imagine how your life would change if you can actually observe, sense your surroundings in a very different way. This is what we actually gain with gravitational waves. Now that we have detectors able to detect these systems, now that we know binary black holes are out there, we'll begin listening to the universe. So this was the biggest science news in a while, and uh, I'm traveling right now, but still wanted to share this story with you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. What do you think we might find in the dark side of the universe? Maybe this guy? And now maybe if someone says, I'm going over to the dark side, it could actually mean that literally. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. See ya.